What's up guys? Wolf HD here. We're playing some Fallout 4. Um setup's a little bit different, so it sounds a little bit echoey or anything, that's why. Um today I'm gonna be showing you guys uh two glitches on Fallout 4. Still haven't been patched as I'm making this video today. It's going out the same day, so um yeah, let's jump into it. So, I'm going to go over here. Alright. So, you see down here where I'm at stores and then armor. If I go over, let's say, to this one. See, at the bottom, I don't have one in my workshop right now. I don't have one on Spectacle Island at all. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it. 3,000 caps. Now this is hard, so if I don't make it the first time, I apologize. But you scrap it, X, store. And I'm sure you've seen this before, but remember, scrap, X, circle. Store. And then it'll do that. You'll get the caps. See how the bottle caps are 2,173? If I do this correctly, now I have 3,673. This is on the PS4, obviously, so no mods or anything like that. Um, no hardcore mod glitch, whatever you want to call it. Nothing like that. It's just pure glitch. Um, so I'm going to get it again. Let's see? And now the caps are at 5,173. See, whenever you scrap it there's a menu that says scrap or circle and it'll give me half of what I paid for obviously so I'm about to gain 1,500 caps okay so see I have 5,173 now 6,673 now I'm gonna do this until I get to 10,000 it should just be see that time I didn't get it and then see sometimes you don't get it but that's fine see 11k right there so that's the first one on to the next one for this next one, you will need the Automatron DLC. Now, in order to do this, you would need a robot workbench. I'm sure I have one somewhere. Um, I'm not really sure. I just made this settlement recently, so I'm not sure where everything is. I'm not used to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make another one. I may or may not have the right supplies to make this, but that's completely fine. So, just go ahead and just place this somewhere. Well, so right here. Now, let's say we want to use carry. Well, we will need scooting along there we will need a companion mind you this so let's just go ahead and use carry not to mod but to take okay so you see that you have the companion now the companion system if you don't know how it works then just let me know and I'll mention it in another video you can hey, hey. use commands so let's say you have to get your companion over here over or at here, least here. close enough okay now let's say do I have enough to make another one? yes okay so let's just say the sentry torso we're gonna make it that's weird okay so we made two of them apparently that's fine Okay, so, I'm going to go to my mods here, 
Protect Tron, that's fine if it's not Sentry. Make sure. Okay, yeah. So, Sentry items. Let's just, instead of using Protect Tron, let's just take Sentry because Sentry usually gives a little bit more XP. Um, let's just say the legs. So, we are going to go over here, grab the legs, hey. command, trade. Now we're going to give the companion the legs. Now, we can we command, trade. Sometimes you gotta give it, and then they might do that. Well, you go to this um, new automatron that we made, and you'll get two menus. So you're gonna go to, let's say, okay, Tektron legs, wait a minute, legs, Tektron legs. Should have some more. Wait. Okay. So we should be able to go to. Hmm. Let's just use the Protectron or Nuka mascot legs. There we go. And then we just. Now this should be working. Sometimes it doesn't, but just to make sure. We're gonna back out. Okay, so the XP only went up a little bit, so I didn't do it right. completely correct. Now, this might not be your method, but it's definitely going to be mine. Let's just get the sentry legs. So it could've worked that way. Heads up. Heads up. There we go. I don't know why I'm naked there. That's a little awkward. All right, so legs. Tron Sentry. Now we're gonna keep spamming the button. It might be a little bit loud. Mind you, this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my TV down. It's completely fine if it starts to take the supplies. See, I don't even have enough supplies, but I guess it's just gonna go ahead and make it. So we're just gonna keep spamming this button. We're gonna do it quite a bit, that way you can see that it's pretty decent level up here. I highly recommend that you get the intelligence. I'm not 100% sure if it helps, but it's worth a shot to take a gander on. But let's say that's enough. All right, so we're gonna exit. Press circle one more time. See, now the XP is just gonna build up. My bad. Auto saving. All right, see the XP just builds up. This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do okay. you wish to enable this unit's personality separate? Unit remaining in factory default so, mode. So, let's try to do it again. Move here. So, legs. Tektron. See, we don't have it now because after that, it didn't get rid of it. It just placed it somewhere else. So that's why we're here. I'm going to show you where it's at. So let's see. Is it in the workshop? No. Highly doubt it. Look alive. Is it in Curie supplies? I need no. to ask you something. What is it? It's about time for you to go. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of her now. Because we don't need her. Mm -hmm. you need something, okay, so we're gonna go to transfer and go to my inventory here. See, we don't have any mods. Now, this isn't always foolproof depending on the mod. Sometimes they will automatically be here. I don't know if they get it in their inventory or if they place it or if it just disappears. But you will get the XP for it either way. See, the automaton has nothing. Um, so there's the XP glitch. Um, honestly, I 
don't have anything else for you. Um, it's just an easy way to rank up some XP. There's some more methods, that's just mine. Now, it's not supposed to be taking your mods, but I don't know if it's like a glitch behind a glitch or something like that. But, yeah. Yes, we do. Okay. Okay, so... One more thing I'm going to show you guys. <clears throat> that a friend of mine, I guess, sort of wanted to know about this. Um... If you go to your map, if you have Nuka World and you played through it, I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, it does have stuff to do with the Raiders, so that's fine. I don't know why the custom destinations off the map. But if you see here, there are chains around some of these settlements. Um, let's say this one. And if you look here, Starlight Drive-In has got the regular logo, but whenever you put your cursor over this, see it's changed. See, it's here and changed. That means that the surrounding ones that are half chained are giving supplies to, let's say, the settlement. And these are the raider settlements. Now, the only problem with this is it's going to be very hard to run supply lines from a regular settlement, let's say, sanctuary, because it's not a raider settlement to, let's just say, a raider settlement, the slog. Well, your slog, if you don't have Nuka World, is not going to be a raider settlement because you haven't captured it. Now, when you get rid of the... How do I place it without spoiling? Um, if you turn the settlers hostile to you to capture that settlement, you will no longer have access to it unless it's a raider settlement. But if it's a supply settlement, then the settlers will stay there, but they will turn hostile on you if you steal something or shoot one of them. So keep that in mind. Plus, you won't be able to access the workshop there anymore. It is kind of a little bumpy road there but that's fine now to run a supply line let's say sanctuary to let's say the slog again which is a decent raider settlement you actually have to have the automatron dlc i don't know if this is 100 percent true or not but this is just the way i do it so what I did was I had ran a supply line, but I used a automatron. I made an automatron, and now I didn't do this. I'm just using it as an example. I ran a supply line with one of the automatrons from Sanctuary to the Slog, and that is going to help me transfer supplies. Now, it did work, but mind you this. Again, this is just an example. Mind you that if it's not 100% foolproof, there may be a little bug or something there because I'm not 100% sure if this is the way you're supposed to do it or even if you're supposed to do it at all. So, since I was using that as an example, I actually have sanctuary to certain settlements, but obviously not the slog. The slog is some other place. So what I actually did to get my supplies to san from Sanctuary to the Slog is I actually went to Sanctuary and I got every little bit of my supplies and I took them to the Slog manually. That is sometimes a problem and it's definitely a problem if you have to walk. Now this is why I'm here to show you. So, to actually get into detail here, you're going to have to have strong back. Strong back is going to take you 
far in this game, let me just tell you. Number, I guess it's upgrade one, you gain 25 carry weight. 50 carry weight is number two. Number three is you can use action points to run when you are carrying too much. You can fast travel with number four when you are carrying too much. And number five, running costs 50% less action points when you're carrying too much. Now that helps when you are transporting goods without running supply lines. Because if you're a base builder, you are gonna want to take a bunch of supplies from one place to another at some point after you transfer stuff like junk. So, pretty much there. Um, if you guys would like to know anything else, just let me know comments anything i hope this helped um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed peace hey guys so i'm over here and i'm just taming my gator claw um i apologize if that video was a little bit too unedited i tried to give as much raw footage this is my first time putting two clips together because the clips kind of messed up on me so I had to mix two of them in between each other that's why in the middle when I show the perk chart with strength it's kind of cut so I apologize for that um, but yeah again if there's anything you need to know just let me know and I will try my best to get around to it as soon as possible and just message me if you need anything comment like if you enjoyed the video and I guess peace out like I said before um, yeah Get that. oh wait guys there's more if you use the code WolfHDGame on the website you, Cinch here. Gaming it's in the description you should go check right now no stop what you're doing go check it right now 5% off any purchase that's check right any purchase now highly advise it there's a ton of great stuff so yeah